The G-Shock Mudman GW9500 is Casio's most recent endeavor for all adventures, having been completely developed from the ground up. While the overall design has undergone significant changes in terms of construction, specifications, and performance, it is still fundamentally a G-Shock and fiercely competes with the greatest outdoor watches available. But how does it compare to their own G-Shock GBDH2000, which is distinctive for its sporty appearance and features? Let's find out in today's video. Upon arrival, you can get the Mudman in three colors named the Rescue Orange, Military Green, and of course Tactical Black. The most apparent new feature of the 2023 Mudman comes in the form of an all-new carbon, integrated shockproof build which gives a secondary layer of protection over the already rugged construction of G-Shock watches, which allows them to survive the most extreme conditions and environments, which means complete immunity from sand, grit, dirt, and of course mud. Additionally, thanks to the BioBeast resin the case band and bezel are all protected from impact, while the physical buttons are protected by stainless steel absorbers. This screen has also been redesigned where it now comes with a Doel layer LCD display, with a digital compass on the top layer of the face, with time and measurement sitting underneath. And on this corner, the GBDH2000 is not a small watch by any measure. Standing with its gigantic posture, the watch comes with protruding rubber elements which only adds to the size factor. The watch comes with a Doel layer frame design, that helps to keep the watch lightweight despite its size. Clocking in at 101 grams, the bio-based resin bezel and the band keep things eco-friendly by implementing sustainable organic resources like corn. There are five texture side balance alongside a solar ringer on the MIP display. That's relatively easy to read even under direct sunlight. The brand new Mudman in terms of features packs a bunch of necessary utilities such as a barometer, altimeter, and thermometer, and all of these give your precise and accurate reading. Regarding the pressure of the atmosphere height and temperature, you'll also get automatic time updates courtesy of a radio AVE reception built in. And it wouldn't be a G-Shock without a significant amount of protection from water. And in this regard, the new Midman watches are water resistant to 200 meters, which is the G-Shock standard. However, instead of the built-in smart features, you'd find in the GBDH2000, you'll get a more solid build quality and a watch that's designed for the adventure, who takes outdoor challenges seriously, be that mountain biking in a remote woodland, climbing a mountain or training for the next iconic mutter. On the flip side, the G-Shock GBDH2000 thanks to the signature Polar integration, can be considered a top-of-the-line activity tracker. Instead of having over 100 plus different workout, most to choose from and disorient the user in the process. The watch covers the basics like running, cycling, or swimming, alongside a bunch of features that highlight training and recovery, which is a standard of a polar part wearable. However, the edge here is the smart features that can keep you updated regarding notifications from your socials and give you a detailed description of steps taken, calories burned, cardio load, status, and more, all through the LifeLock feature. Additionally, the watch can also measure blood oxygen levels and courtesy of the gyroscope, it becomes an invaluable swimming utility, where it keeps kind of every individual stroke. If you take your outer risk a bit seriously and want to watch it can keep up with your ever-expanding wonderlust, the G-Shock Mud and GW9500 will guarantee you a watch that not only keeps up with your spirit but stays with you through and through, thanks to the robust build quality and nine indestructible design. However, if you prefer a watch that comes with a few smart features while still providing the standard G-Shock level durability, which is pretty impressive itself, the G-Shock GBDH2000 would be a prime pick. Just be careful now there you hear. You can get your hands on the G-Shock GW9500 Mud Man in the coming weeks, with the tactical black costing $416, and both the Rescue Orange and Military Green costing for $42, and if you prefer to get the Shock GBDH2000 instead, you can get it for $399. We think the G-Shock GBDH2000 comes with a comparatively better value for money, since it costs less than the Mudden NGW9500. It comes with a relatively tough build in comparison to the market and most importantly, 
comes with a ton of smart watch features. So that was our take on the G-Shock Midman GW9500 versus G-Shock GBDH2000. Which one of these rugged watches would you be going with and why? Do let us know as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.